Well, welcome. I'm joined by two iconic leaders in our business, James Sanderson and Alex Hamer Webb, both presidential marketing directors with the Juice Plus company. And uh, really what I'd like to talk about is the longevity you guys have had in this business. I mean, you've been involved for 27 years, Alex. 27 years now. Uh, and James, just even an extra year, yeah. <laughs> 28 years. In fact, uh, you've been involved with the the longest period actually in the UK, 28 yeah. years, yeah. 1988, can we yeah. remember that? And I think probably the first question really I've got to ask is a little bit about your background. I mean, sure. we find out from the audience a about what you were doing before the Juice Plus company here. Previous to NSA, I was a hairdresser for 22 years. Uh, but before hairdressing, I want, maybe I should explain to you a little bit about my uh, background. I was brought up in children's homes uh, from the age of 2 to 15. Um, never really had any direction, nobody really sort of told me what to do so I actually went into the world a little bit crazy, became a hairdresser, um, had long dreadlocks, uh, normal thing, I, so, uh, but the main thing is I actually enjoyed what I did, I actually made good money, but I came to a stage where I thought my future was actually be an old barber. Now I don't know what you think about that but I can imagine what myself was going to look like in like 50 years time. So I was looking for something, fortunately somebody who knew me very well came along said to me, Alex, I've seen something like a fitted glove. You need to come and have a look at it. I did. I went to the Docklands first. Uh, in fact, I borrowed a suit to go there. Um, <laughs> and uh, when I got there, I saw 2,000 people. Uh, my sponsor went up on stage, got 2,000 pounds in a pin. I thought, if he can do it, I can do it, um, following uh, Emma Sneddon. But it's true. The most important thing is, I, and I want to tell anybody who's out there right now, I failed my way to NMD. What I did was I worked so hard that I didn't care whether anyone said no to me. I was looking for the yeses. And I just pounded and pounded and pounded. I mean, now my business is, I'm not, I don't even know how many countries it's in. I have no idea what my turnover, I know it's massive. But the interesting thing about it is the young generation that are coming in right now, along with my education, my time in the business, it's just a great synergy of things. Guys, the future is so bright. Moving over to James, you've got totally different background. Uh, to Alex, uh, in that you were a surveyor. Right, yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, my background is in property and uh, real estate. And, um, you know, I studied and I got a degree and uh, I got a, a very good job. But, um, you know, it was quite interesting. I used to go to work every day um, and I used to drive underneath the railway bridge on my work every day. And uh, someone had scrawled in graffiti on the railway bridge, admit you're bored. And I remember thinking to myself, how do they know? I, because I was bored rigid. I was suddenly in a scenario where all my time was taken up. Um, you know, I was working for someone else and I could just see this going on for year after year after year and it was just something I absolutely didn't want. And um, so I saw this business and uh, I could see suddenly an opportunity. And what I could see was freedom. That's what I could see. I could see an opportunity to basically be in a scenario where I, it sounds strange, but in the sense that I didn't need, or I wouldn't have to work again. And, you know, I also understood that, you know, if I could find something, if I could, in a sense, find my emotional drive and I could run with it, I would be guaranteed success. And I could see in this company that emotionally I could become very involved with it because I absolutely love the product and I love the people and those two things sort of utterly galvanized me into action. Let me ask you a little bit about what this business can do for you in terms of lifestyle because I think that's the great thing that we've yeah. got here is that what this business can give you totally changed my life and my family's life. I mean, the main thing I can sort of put into this is like, you know, I was able to take nearly 10 years off with passive income. Uh, I built my business up so big in Europe that I was actually able to bring my kids up, I'd take them to school, drop them off at school. I mean, that is mega to me. And the relationship I've now got with my children is just so powerful. The interesting thing about it is I, on that time when I had, had off, my business kept growing which is insane, you know what I mean? You think when you stop work, something will stop. It didn't, it continued on going around the world. Now also, Alex, your business, of course, is 
expanded into to Europe and around sure. the world. Yep. Um, what about travel? What's that given you there? Oh, I've been to so many countries. Uh, I've been fortunate. I work in Germany. I work in Switzerland. I work in uh, Spain. Uh, we're off to uh, Spain with a big uh, Rhino convention. We call it Rhino Fest. It's going to be. Uh, we'll probably have 700 people in the group there. And basically, all we're trying to do is just connect people together and give them this massive love. Because what I have found in this business, what kept me in the business for 26 years. It's not just the money. The money is a byproduct about helping other people. And I really want you to stress that again. I will say it one more time. Money is a byproduct of helping other people achieve what they want in life. And really, the amount of people that we've been touching recently has been insane. To be truthful, this is not work. It's just pure fun. The traveling, the money, be able to give it to your children, to the lifestyle that I, I mean, I can look after so many people now in my life. Thanks, Alex. Um, so a similar question to you, yeah. James. I mean, you you live in a massive conurbation, London. Yeah. Twelve million people, mm. uh, and it's a big rat race. Yeah. What's the business done for you? To well, I lifestyle? mean, it, to my mind, I mean, it's given me the, the power to choose. Uh, it's given me the power to choose what I want to do, when I want to do it. I'm not, in a sense, accountable or answerable to to anyone, which is what I absolutely love and I'm doing something which I feel very very passionate about um, I feel like I'm having a, a big effect on on other people's lives but I mean the amazing thing is is that you know from time to time I get on the tube to perhaps go to a meeting or something early in the morning and I get on at the time when everyone else is commuting and I'm on the train and I just think Oh my goodness, I am so grateful that I'm not doing this every day. You know, the reality is, this is there for anyone. And, um, you know, I would encourage anyone just to dream a bit. Dream about what, what could happen. And, you know, dreams can come true. Um, let's just finish off. I think with, I was going to ask for some tips, actually. I think you've given a number of tips along the way there. Uh, maybe just one big tip that you would give to a brand new person that's watching this for the first time uh, and it's something that can save them a lot of time and a lot of energy on the course of their journey with the Juice Plus company and then bring them some success a lot quicker. What would that first tip, that tip be on it? Believe in yourself, believe in your dreams and don't let anyone stop you doing whatever you want in life. James? Yeah, my tip would be uh, to focus on building your, your, your vision of what can be achieved by getting as close as possible to other people that have already achieved it. Probably all we've got time for with this interview, but uh, I'd like to thank you guys for your time, uh, but also your loyalty over the years. Uh, it's been an amazing journey. I'd like to thank you for your, uh, your loyalty towards <laughs> as well. <laughs> and your leadership, Simon. And your leadership, Simon. Yeah. Uh, Without the, you, none of us would be here, well, trust me. Uh, but the great thing is, the journey continues. Absolutely. That's the amazing things. Thanks a lot, guys, and we'll see you all soon.